recording and here we go. Welcome to the Path of Purpose interview show where we share our unique and universal stories about finding and fulfilling our purpose. My name is Katya Rosanen and I'm your host and a mentor for Lightworkers. My intention for this show is to inspire you on your path to purpose. Today, I have a pleasure to interview Angel Christina, who is a camera confidence coach and a female empowerment mentor. She's the founder of Wondrous Online Women, where she helps women to stand out from the crowd on social media by showing up as their true self and attract their tribe and ideal clients. So I am super excited to learn more. So welcome, Angel. I'm, Thank you. <laughs> it is so great to have you here because confidence, camera, and empowerment are something that so many people are seeking at the moment. But before we go into your expert tips, let's hear a little bit more about you. So I introduced you very briefly. So could you tell a little bit more and also share where you are located now so we can put you on the map? Perfect. So thank you for the beautiful introduction, which was just like a very, very good summary. If you could put me in a, you know, in a nutshell. And thank you also for having me on this amazing show. And thank you all the viewers for choosing to watch this. So um, I'm actually Maltese. I'm from the tiny island of Malta, which is situated in the middle of the Mediterranean Sea, right under Sicily. However, I'm currently living in Costa del Sol in Malaga, Spain, since getting close to a year now. So I'm very, very excited. I've connected with Katya actually before um, on, online. But finally, we're going to hopefully meet soon <laughs> because it's amazing that we're in the same area we haven't met yet. My journey with regards to camera and uh, being, let's say, in the center of attraction, actually, I was brought up with this. So I come from a theater family mm. and my beautiful grandmother was an actress in Malta. She was a very popular actress in Malta, actually. So I am used to being on stage, being in the spotlight having lights on me and learning lines and acting and singing and performing and being the little starlet in the show. So my first speaking part, apparently I was about two years old and I was told to be a boy. So I had golden locks at the time and they put this hat on. And in the middle of the show, I was feeling so warm. I pulled this brown hat off and I ruined for everyone that it was a girl, not a boy. And everyone was laughing and applauding and it looks like little Angel liked it. And I continued taking it and doing that for, for numerous years. So I continued doing theater. Eventually at university, I actually took up theater studies because it was just in my DNA and I wanted to explore it further. I became a drama teacher and I taught drama to children and confidence as well to children for about 17 years. And then there was a bit of a turning point because I wanted a bit more, but I didn't know what more was. And I actually auditioned to be a TV presenter um, for a daily show in Malta, was chosen, loved it. And it was an experience of running a daily show live every day for nine months. And I think that experience together with my passion for theater has become what now is Wondrous Online Women, which spells wow. Does that answer your question? <laughs> wow, wow. <laughs> I love how you shared your journey and how you, well, I believe as a soul, we choose our family and you kind of chose a family that were into theater and the whole journey for you to developing the skills first for yourself and now you're sharing for people who need that support. So I just love that. And have you there ever been like a moment when you felt like you need to expand your comfort zone when it comes to being in front of a camera? Because it sounds to me that this has been actually quite easy for you. But has there been ever a moment when you have self-doubts or something that you felt challenging? Yes, that's a very good question because people say, I want to be as confident as you, but for you, it's easy. And it's a good point because I'm used to it. 
and I think later on we'll mention a couple of tips, but that's, that's why it's easy for me because I've been doing it for a longer time. So let's say if one of you watching this is, I don't know, an athlete, let's say, for you it's easy to run, whereas for someone who has never started to run, it's more difficult. So kind of for comparison. However, yes, there was a turning point. So unfortunately, my grandmother passed when I was 14 and she was quite my hero, I have to say. She still is. But at the time, I kind of went into myself and I closed up. And the only next moment that I was asked to speak about her, I think it was about seven years later in public, and they did an event in Malta. And my mom asked me to speak about my grandma or read something. I can't remember what it was. I actually remember what I was wearing. I remember my mom made me this beautiful green top, you know, to kind of shine and stand out, whatever. And I stood on, stood on that podium to speak and I just cried. I didn't do anything else besides cry because it was my vulnerability. It was my weak part of me and I couldn't. And the local papers took a photograph of me crying on the podium at this event. And I was shocked and I did not want to ever talk about her again because of the fear of crying in public. So that was an angle that now I embrace with regards to fears of being on camera and fears of showing up. Mm. However, I never knew it was going to come through that journey and I needed to work through it myself um, to actually allow myself to now be vulnerable and cry in front of camera and be a human being and show up as the true me who is at the moment, at the time, sorry, was sad, who lost her grandmother. And now after working, working on myself, I don't cry about it anymore, as you can tell. I just hold her in my heart. However, I think that was my turning point. It was very uncomfortable to, to show up and know and be conscious that if they mention her, I'm going to cry. And going back to my journey story, what's interesting is when I auditioned for the TV show, I actually was asked. So that happened when I was, I think, about 21, this public thing with the photograph on the paper. Then at 30s, I think something like this, when I auditioned for it, now I'm revealing my age. <laughs> I don't care. Um, yeah, no, I, when I auditioned for the TV show, at a point, I actually was asked, am I this actress's granddaughter? And the tears started welling and the tears started falling because I, I can't hold it in and there's too much love. And I started crying during the audition and I thought I busted the audition and I'm not going to get the job. And after that experience and having been chosen actually as the presenter of that show was a lesson to me that, you know what, I need to start embracing this. Yeah. I can't hide from the world that I am her granddaughter, especially in Malta, because she was very, very popular and renowned. And I also slowly started embracing that it's not a weakness to cry. It's just part of who we are as human beings. And since then, the journey has been quite beautiful. Yeah, and thank you for sharing that, because it is such a strength, actually, that you have being able to connect that emotion and allowing also that to be shared and this journey of the learning that it's actually a strength being able to have have the courage to be vulnerable and share something something so dear for you so that is something that so many people often hide because we don't want to share those parts of us but I feel and maybe the whoever is watching this now as well, this connects, this helps the connection when we have the confidence to share those vulnerable parts of us and our, from our stories. Exactly, because we each have our own story. So what I just shared with you is my story. So that is my power. It's something that belongs to me. There is no competition. If there's someone else who is teaching camera confidence, they don't have that story. Someone watching this might relate to mine or theirs. So there's a connection of humanity when you share your story and your vulnerability. And it's lovely that you said, because you could hide. Of course I could hide. I did hide, in fact, for those number of years between the photo being taken and then auditioning. There were honestly most probably about eight, nine, 10 years. I'm not even exactly sure. I, was, I never spoke about it ever, ever, ever. It was only private and I used to cry privately and that's it. So I never even mentioned, I always braved the face. 
However, to me now, it's so part of who I am that it's so beautiful that something that I thought was holding me back is now what pushes me forward, what makes me stand out from the crowd, what makes me more unique because my story is not your story and that's what makes us special, right? Absolutely, absolutely. But in your opinion, why do so many people then have the fear to share that part, like especially in front of a camera? So why do we hold back? In my opinion, it's easier to just, let's say, talk about your area of expertise, for example, for me, I don't know. Let's say I would talk about the tech stuff of cameras. Let's just pick myself. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Excuse me. So for me, it's much easier to talk about something and I describe the lights or I describe the background and the distance and the angle. And it's so much easier not to talk about myself mm -hmm. because we need to be sure of ourselves. We need to love ourselves so much that we will be opening doors to be criticized. Because that's the thing, since I've been doing TV for a long time, I've had many a comment, right? Not everyone liked me. When I cut my hair, it's because I am something or I look like something. And when I spoke English in Malta because I had foreign guests, then I'm something else. So I was criticized a lot. And that's the thing. As soon as you put yourself out there, out there you're also open for criticism. And I think when you are open for criticism, you need to back yourself up. You need to be strong in who you are so much that whatever they're going to say is not going to affect you because you're sure of yourself. Mm. And I feel that is where people choose to stay back because if they're not sure of who they are, they cannot show up as what I call the best version of themselves or the wow version of themselves and just say, you know what, this is me. This is my story. This is what I've gone through. And I hope you have your story and you relate. I think there is a strength, as you mentioned before, in showing up as our true self. In social media especially, it's so, e so much easier to be fake. It's so much easier to take a perfect photo. It's so much easier to put up a quote. It's so much easier to, I don't know, comment on a negative sense, comment on someone else's or break it down. But for us to show up as our true authentic self, I think that's the hardest option of all. I think it's really getting out of our comfort zone and that only comes by practice and by having support. So I think that is why, unfortunately, we're not seeing so much of this yet. However, anyone who is around me realizes that actually when they really embrace themselves, it becomes the next easiest thing to do because you just have to show up as you. And if you're having a bad day, it's part of you. And if you're having an excellent day or you're celebrating, it's you. And if I don't know, you're going through a tough time or a pensive time, it's still you. So mm. these are all facets. We don't need to see one, even though social media prom promotes perfection. To me, I don't mind about that. It's, it's, it doesn't rock my boat. It's not my cup of tea. So I encourage people to just be themselves. And when you get used to it, it's actually so much easier than putting a mask on every day like I used to do in the beginning of doing TV. I did not know how to be Angel in front of camera because mm. I used to act. So for me, acting was always a role. So I became Jane, you know, and Jane is this lady who has this character and this age and whatever. So it's much easier to step into someone else. But to show up as me in the beginning of the TV program was really hard. I didn't know who Angel was. Yeah. So that was a journey of discovery that perhaps people who are looking into doing this, they could start looking into. Yeah, and thank you for sharing that because it also like when we have the freedom to be who we are in front of a camera as well, that brings so much freedom. It just expands the comfort zone. And I know this is your expertise and I think the easiest way to get there is to get the support from you, like reaching out and having your support on the journey. But if there is somebody now watching this and like, okay, can you give me the first step? Where do I start? Like if I want to gain more confidence, if I want to have the courage to show who I truly am and on social media, so where can they start this journey? 
So I'm going to give you a pre-step one because it just came to mind whilst we were chatting and I don't want to deny you all from hearing it. I think one of the key elements is for us women to allow ourselves. I think that is the foundation before even step one. Just allow yourself to start something new. Don't think you're going to get it in a second because there are going to be moments if you end up doing video that you're going, not going to like how you look, you're not going to like how you sound, you're going to think that the light is harsh or you're wearing, we're going to so really criticize ourselves. We are, are our worst enemies. What we tell ourselves, we would not tell to, our, to a person who we don't even like. So we really, I think, need to start with allowance first. Allow yourself to say, I'm going to start learning. So that's kind of foundation step. However, I do share three free tips as well, and I'm going to actually share this with you um, as a gift. However, one of, the, one of the tips is that you actually start practicing. As I mentioned in the beginning, I am where I am because I practice regularly it's natural for me to look at the dot at the camera it's weird for many people because you've never done it before and that's okay so yeah. accept that it's okay and start practicing so the first thing i would do is literally just take your phones just put it on video mode place it somewhere maybe on a shelf that is eye level to you let's say something like this for me and i'm looking at the camera right and just switch it on video mode for yourself, not sharing, not public, not nothing. So go on photos, shift to video, press record and put it at the right angle and just talk and try to find the camera and practice. And if you do this once a week or once a day, it's just practice. I think that is so, so good because as I said, you are not going to like it. You're going to be feeling very, very sticky to see it back and you're, oh my God, what am I doing? I'm so bad. I speak really weird. I look like this. This is part of the journey. I went through this during all my years. So I remember being filmed for the first time. And as a child, I remember recording my voice for the first time at school. If you've never gone through this, you really need to allow yourself to make gazillions of mistakes. Like there is no perfect. For the people who I work with, for example, they say, oh, it's so bad today. And I say, you actually did it. So it's already not bad. You yeah. not doing it is not even bad either. But if you're ready to start exploring whatever version of the video, even if you press the record button on your phone and was like, I don't know what to say and stopped it, it's already better than nothing. Mm -hmm. So that is something I'm going to give as my main tip to just start practicing. If you really would love to start exploring this free tool that we have on social media to share live streams, it's really an amazing way to attract clients and people of your own vibe and tribe and who, who resonate to your story by just using your phone. Mm, that's a beautiful tip and I actually challenge everyone who's watching to just test it out because that's the way and I totally relate to that journey. I have been there judging myself like delete, delete, delete. I don't like my voice. I don't like how I look. I have an accent. I pronounce things funny way and then it's just like learning to accept this is who I am and this is what I do and I also, what helped me was to connect with the why I want to do what I do. And that brought me like, okay, hit the play again and again. And then finding the courage to share also on social media because the push from my soul came like stronger than my fear. Mm. So that helped me to start sharing. I love that. I love that it's, it became stronger than fear. One of the messages I love sharing in my community is the hashtag choose love over fear. Mm -hmm. And for me, when you choose love over fear in this scenario of visibility and showing up, is you realizing that you have a gift, whatever it is. So in your case, um, Katya, with what you do, for example, you have chosen that instead of hiding behind the fear of going live or doing videos, you realize you have your purpose. And for you to have your purpose and keep it for yourself, you're actually not owning up and showing up as your fullest because yeah. the fear of being in front of camera is bigger. When you switch that and when you put kind of your responsibility 
of sharing your gift and your knowledge, your skills before the fear, you choose to love others and to share more and share your joy and share your skills. And if that, and when that is bigger than your fear, then you start doing it more and you start loving it more. Yes. I have so many clients who come to me terrified. I don't want to do video. Don't mention videos to me. I'm not ready yet. And now they're flying and they're doing live streams daily and they can't believe it themselves. Uh -huh. I'm like, are you the same person? Do you know that you're doing videos like three times a week? What, what is this? <laughs> and they would have started from totally not loving who they see, not loving their voice, not loving how they look. And now it took them to a different level. But obviously it's a journey of self-love, absolutely. Mm -hmm. And also because you mentioned your accent and your voice, and I have that as well. I'm, you know, I'm from Malta and it's quite rare to find a Maltese person, you know, being an online entrepreneur teaching camera confidence. Most probably I might be the only one. However, now I embrace that as also part of my story and my uniqueness. Mm -hmm. So when people watch my videos, I'm sure they expect me to speak like that and not like you. Yeah. So for your videos, I'm sure they expect you to speak like that and not like me because that's Katya and the other one is Angel. But until we actually accept ourselves till that point, which is a very, very beautiful point, there's some support and, and, uh, and journey yes, to travel to. Yeah. And thank you for sharing that journey with your clients so it's possible. Like if you have that fear, it is possible to overcome that. It's so beautiful to, to, to see these people who they know they have to do it and they're terrified and I hold their hand. And obviously I have my own system of how to break the ice, of pushing them out of their comfort zone, tiny, tiny little steps every time. But I know where I want to get them. And the thing is, I have this kind of secret gift that I can see the person without their limiting beliefs. So we look at each other. And as coaches, I think it's our gift that we see them in their full potential. At least that's something I see. So I could tell if a person comes to me and I'm like, mm, not sure they are fit to do videos daily or this person should just do videos. They're so, you know, we say in, in the industry of the media, we say the camera loves them. So mm -hmm. this is not for everyone. I think everyone can learn it, but there are certain people like yourself that you can tell the camera loves you. When you look at the camera, you shine and you come out. It's not like you're terrified and you're trying to do a video. It won't work. If you're holding it, it's not going to happen. And for you, you have this softness, this kindness that comes across and yes, the camera loves you. So that is something that is really beautiful that I see as a coach. The person wouldn't be seeing themselves and then we get there and they're like how what what happened i used to hate this i used to be terrified of doing this so yeah tried and tested tick <laughs> <laughs> that's absolutely wonderful and it is like seeing the full potential because that already empowers people like somebody being there and being able to see what they might not be ready to see in themselves because we do have blind spots and believe me i've been there like not being able to see this and then having people to who support so if somebody is now like okay i need that i need your help what is the best way to contact you and find out more about you and your work oh first of all thank you for connecting and i would love to support you so the best way is to connect on social media. Um, I'm on Facebook and on Instagram. And I also have the website, which links you will find in the comments below, uh, in the description. I'm so sorry below. So that's really, really easy. And I also do offer a free connection call. So you can tell me this is my story. I would love to struggle. I, I struggle with this. How can you help me? And there's also a free video that I'm going to share with you with three expert tips of how you can start being more visible and kind of getting out of your comfort zone if you're ready to start doing this. But yeah, social media, I think, is the place. And there's also my free community. So just click on the links below and come and say hi and that you saw this video. And I would love, love, love to guide you to the next step that you're ready to receive. Wow, thank you. Thank you for the gift and invitation to join your community because that is amazing to have that support that is available. So do take 
benefit of that offer and click the links below and book that call as well. And I have heard something that you do challenges as well in your community. I do, yes. Yeah. So every couple of months, I coined the word wow, because it's Wondrous Online Women, 20 challenge. So for 20 days, I do this online challenge in a private group, don't panic, <laughs> where we basically become visible for 20 days. It's not being live for 20 days, but there are some days that the daily task is going live. So to explain this, it will be from Monday to Friday, because I think we all need to rest and replenish and also sometimes catch up on a day that you would have missed. And every day from Monday to Friday for four weeks, so 20 days, you will be given a daily task. So that day you have to, whatever the, the task says, and you just have to do that. And sometimes it's in the private group itself. Sometimes it's on your personal profile. Sometimes it's in your page or on your group or whatever you have um, as, as, you know, as yourself, entrepreneur or, you know, person, whatever. And every day you, it's given to you so that you grow a tiny bit more and you push a tiny bit more and there's a topic that you need to discuss and address and maybe look into and you've never done this. And, and there are 20 little steps for a start of a transformation. Obviously, it's the basic, but if you've never done this before and if you feel like you need someone to hold your hand along the way, I think a challenge is a very, very good way to start and so many people have done their first Facebook lives with me and they would go in and say like, I don't know if I'll be able to do this, but let's just try. It would be really, really nice if I manage. And uh, that's really an amazing achievement. And also being given what to post because some people struggle. They don't know what to share. They have no idea what to say because in the beginning of your journey, discovering about yourself and learning who you are, you don't know what to say about yourself. You feel weird for you to say, hi, I'm Angela. I do this. It's weird in the beginning. Even I needed to wrap my, my head around it. So you'd actually be told what to post, where to post it, just using the hashtag wow20 challenge. And it's a really beautiful and fun experience to do together in a safe and private environment so that you finally get start getting used to doing live so they can attract your ideal customers and your tribe so look out for the wow 20 challenge <laughs> yeah that sounds absolutely amazing and also having the guidance like what a gift that is as well to have the support guidance and community and get it going because i believe that we need to make Thing, make things happen and this will give you like okay this is my daily task go and do it and have your support wow <laughs> that is wow <laughs> it's, it's simple, but when you read it you will be like okay i've never been asked this question or i've never been told to speak about this but if you are ready for the challenge this might be perfect for you because you don't need to think about it mm -hmm. and you just need to show up and even though showing up is big you have made a commitment, you're going to show up. And honestly, in 20 days, you will mesmerize yourself how much you can stretch with having the support. And also what's beautiful is that obviously, since I am leading the challenge, I can give the little tech tips on the side. So when you're doing the first thing and I can give you a tip about the lighting or if you need to speak louder or I don't know, something that you wore. So this is kind of extra bonuses whilst you're doing this that I can point out as a kind of, you know, just a little bit of filling extra at the cup because you would have tried, but being with me, I can't not tell you. I, I, I can't not be myself because as you, I think, have gathered, I show up as my true self. So that would be an, an, another extra um, layer bonus for you that once you're in there and you would have, not the first one, I'm not going to break you on the first one and I never do break people. But if there's space where I can say, you know what? why don't you try this thing next time? Or why don't you try a different color or whatever I would be giving you? That's over and above and you're welcome. <laughs> Thank you. And I will join that. That sounds amazing because we can always enhance and like get things to the next level so that we can share our message. And now as we are coming to the end, I'd love to talk with you more, but I understand you're very busy and thank you for taking this time. I'd love to ask you if there is a special message that you would like to share with the audience. I do actually. So I think, and I know that you are unique. 
you are a loved person and the world needs to hear your story and your voice and you are important with your story and your voice. You have a gift that has been given to you and I would love to start hearing more of you and more of it. So do challenge yourself to do more videos and lives because the, the, the people and the world would love to hear from you more because you are loved and you are important and also unique and wow. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Angel, for your time and all that you do like in the world, helping people to share their message and gain the confidence and feel empowered. I love that. Thank you so much for the invitation. I hope some of these tips resonated with, with you and also with your audience. And, and I really, really hope that more women embrace themselves as they are. There's nothing else you need to add to you. Just be you, just be your true self. Allow yourself to be yourself because as I already mentioned, you are special in your own way. So don't try to change and warp and it's just yourself. And I think you've realized here you have two women who are standing here with honesty and genuinity and confidence. And I, I'm sure you can feel that we're being really real. So maybe you can try it yourself and just explore um, being real for yourself and see how it feels. So thank you, Katya, for the invitation. And thanks for listening. You are very welcome. And thank you for watching Path to Purpose interview show. If you want have more of this subscribe to this channel so you will get a notification when the next episode is up and also you might want to check it out our last episode and get more expert tips and so stay well and stay blessed and we will talk soon bye for now